Okay, children, now you are familiar with the word biodiversity. Let us see here, there are some examples I brought you for you. See, look here, look at the flowers. Do all flowers are same? Color, shape, size, texture, and number of petals, the arrangement of sepals, and see, you can find. See, how these are, these are all called as variations. The differences among these uh, organisms are called as uh, variations. See, for example, if I, if you go to garden, if you go to garden, if you find only one color uh, flower, how do you feel? How do you feel? It looks odd. So, if you find different types of colored flowers in a garden, it looks uh, good and awesome. So, like that, in our nature, biodiversity carries all these uh, flora and fauna with the help of uh, variations. The, these variations are uh, seen in certain plants. Let us see, there are uh, some leaves. For example, see, observe the arrangement of leaves. Do all the leaves are same in size, children? See, no. So, look at this leaf. Look at this leaf. How is it? This is the leaf from Autobatris. The plant name is uh, Autobatris. How the leaf is arranged? Now, look at this leaf. Look at this leaf, children. How the leaf is uh, arranged? Now, you can very clear that these two leaves are from monocot plant and uh, dicot plant. These uh, variations we can see in the plants like monocot and uh, dicot. Let us see some of the activities we will go through now. Variations in plants. Activity number one, variations in uh, two different uh, neem plants. Now look at this uh, neem plant. You know all of you familiar with the neem plant. Neem plant is scientifically called as Ajadirakta indica. It is a medicinal important, well importance is there and it is called Ajadirakta indica. Now you are watching, watch carefully small plant, neem plant and long neem plant. Neem plant one, now I am giving the activity variations in two different neem plants. The activity is called as variations in two different neem plants. Let us see here, name of the plant, length of the stem, number of leaves, size, shape of the leaf, color of leaves, margin and venation. You need to have one tabular form. For example, name plant 1. Name plant 1 is a short one, name plant 1. Name plant 2, taller one. See, what are our, your observations? You need to write in this uh, table. Next activity, variations in monocot and dicots. Let us see, we are uh, studying about variations in plants. Now, look at the picture children. Here, monocot and dicot plants. You know, monocot, you are familiar with monocot and dicot. Look at this picture, children. Look at the plants, monocot and dicot. Monocot and dicot. Look at the chart also. Here, mono means single, cot means cotyledon. The plants with single cotyledon are known as monocots. And the plants with two cotyledons is known as a dicot. The plant with a single cotyledon is known as a monocot. Look at the picture children. Here monocot, monocotyledon. Examples for monocotyledon are maize, rice plant, water hyacinth, onion, banana tree. Now, what is this children? Is it monocot or dicot? Monocot, onion, garlic, Monocot or dicot? Monocot. Rice grains. Rice grains. It is monocot or dicot? Monocot. Now, this one. Pulses. Example, pulses. Dicot plant. Dicot. Dicot plant. These are all dicots. Dicot in a seeds. Means the plants with two cotyledon is known as dicot. Plants with Two cotyledon is known as a dicot. These are all examples for 
thycoid illness uh, seeds, plants. And uh, here you see the main difference between monocot and dicot is in monoclots we can find the fibrous root system. Fibrous root system we can find in monocot presence of uh, fibrous root system. And uh, the leaves are with uh, parallel venation. The leaves are with uh, parallel venation. They are isobilateral leaves. They are isobilateral leaves with parallel venation. What is venation? The process of arrangement of veins on the leaf is known as venation. In monocot, only single cotyledon is present. Example, rice and jowar. Rice and jowar. For example, seeds, if we take the concern of seeds, we can see that we cannot break the seed into two equal halves. Hence, the name given is monocot. Monocot plants carry fibrous root system, single cotyledon. Whereas, dicot plants, look at the picture children, dicot plants, examples, potato, cotton plant, cinchona, abscinalis. Look at this dicot plant. Here, you can find the presence of tap root system, the presence of tap root system and here the leaves with reticulate venation, the leaves with reticulate venation. Tap root system, leaves are with reticulate venation and seeds are with dicots. We can break the seed into two equal halves. Such a type of arrangement is called as a dicot. Like that, we can find in monocot and dicot plants as examples for variations to study the monocot and dicots. It is one of the activity. Now coming to observation of uh, seeds. Observation of uh, seeds. Now you can uh, uh, draw the table like serial number, name of seed, split the seed into half or does not, monocot or dicot. Children, you need to go through the activity, observation of uh, different uh, leaves and observation of uh, different types of uh, seeds. See the variations in two different neem plants, variations in monocot and dicot, observation of seeds, observation of different leaves. Let us see name of seed split into half or does not monocot and dicot. So these are all pulses, red gram, green gram, bengal gram, groundnut, almonds. These are all examples for dicot seed. So we can fill the table like this. Serial number one, name of the seed is green gram. Name of the seed is green gram. Split, is it split into half or not? Yes, it can split into two. Half, yes, you can say. And is it monocot or dicot children? It is a dicot. You can put the tick mark. We we'll put the tick mark. So here the example taken as a dicot plant pulses green gram the seed can be split into two equal halves. So, yes, we should write and it is not monocot. So, put into mark and as it is a dicot, put the tick mark near dicot column. So, like that you need to fill up the table. Variations in plants. Biodiversity carries variations. Variations are the characters which can find differences among the individuals. For example, variations in plants by taking into consideration of monocot and dicot and various types of leaves like uh, turmeric leaf, grass plant leaf, mango leaf, atrabatris leaf, neem leaf by taking into consideration. And one more example you can take as a money plant, money plant. Money plant is also monocot. Money plant is also monocot plant only. Here we cannot find the parallel, we cannot find the reticulate venation. Here we can find the reticulate venation. Here money plant leaf also, money plant leaf also is not uniform in texture. Now let us see children, if you find money plant is a creeper, like that money plant, if you find total earth will be filled with, total earth will be 
imagine let us suppose imagine our total biosphere has been filled with creepers you know plants are categorized into different types plants are categorized into different types like herb herb means what the plants which are growing in small plants which can grow up to certain length only called as a herb shrub means example you can take it as a rose plant rose plants is example for shrub and the plant which can creep on the support is called as a creepers let us suppose imagine our total earth is filled with the creepers what happens we cannot imagine the other organisms on the earth because because yes these creepers will be covering the entire earth there is no light and other nutrient materials which are to the other organisms so it leads to endangered and extinct break up